What's up Animator, Sharp here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you how to make a green screen effect in my animator. What is a green screen? What is it used for? Green screens are used to make something like this. I... I don't know what's going on. It's got a mind of its own. Anyway, I'll show you a step-by-step -step process how to make it happen in my animator. Let's begin. I've got this cyberpunk city here, right? And this is my main camera. On a completely separate note, I've got a character here. And this animation here is from my slime collab thing. I just took the animation because I was lazy to make something new. Anyway, I want to record this guy on a green screen and insert him into my main footage. I'll record this guy separately, remove the background via green screen whatever processes, and use that footage here on the main camera. The trick is though, I'm only going to use my animator. So green screens are usually done in Premiere Pro, after effects but not this time first things first when it comes to green screens you always need to <coughs> oof first things first when it comes to green screens you always need to match the lighting otherwise it just looks fake so let's examine this scene here we have four lights one of them is magenta right here one of them is blue from the left corner yellow from the right corner and there's red straight behind us on the right this is the magenta this is the yellow this is the blue and this is the red so we have to properly light our character what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put all this in a folder call it e and just hide it for now because i just want to focus on this character right i want to add a new camera and it's going to be the green screen camera oh also it is important to use the same focal length where's my camera right here and my camera's got a field of view of 17 degrees so i'll put the green screen camera to 17 as well so now it's the same now just to frame up the character like you would I'm gonna go for 42. Now that all this is done, let's match the lighting. I'm gonna add a spotlight, call it magenta, put it behind him, turn it inwards. If I render this, what does it look like? First of all, I wanna make Oblivion bleed light. See the rim light tutorial that I've shown you before? Now the magenta spotlight is gonna be shining onto him. I need to turn this on to see it better. If I raise it up, for some reason it's just going through him. That's not what I wanted. Long story short, fixed it. It was an old rig and it had too many items, so every item individually was glowing, but now I've got it working. So this uh, spotlight, this magenta thing, I gotta rename it again. I've been troubleshooting a lot. Okay, so this is the magenta, duplicate that. Then we have a blue spotlight right there, so I'm gonna make this blue. I also feel like giving this camera contrast brightness thing. Just drop the ambient down so it's a little bit darker. Be careful how bright you want your character in relation to the original image. So like in this E thing, I make this invisible and make this visible. So this is your original image. Be careful how bright you want to make your character in regards to that. I'd say this is pretty cool. This could go in a little bit more. Maybe decrease the range. This should go like so. Duplicate this, call it yellow. I'll put it up there, make it yellow. But this one is far back. Is my spotlight buffer size gigantic? Quality of the spotlights is preserved if they come closer. So I'm going to try this again. So now it's way more quality than it was before. Yellow should not be as obvious. Magenta though should be. Now there's another one so just duplicate this, call it red and this one's gonna be red and this one is coming from down here. This is the city, this is the character. Uh, I guess it works if I just imagine it being there. Maybe it needs more yellow because this is very uncanny. Anyways, matching the lights is difficult. Now I want to get onto the actual green screen method. So video files usually have three channels. Red, green and blue also known as RGB, and all those values together can give you a range of all the colors you can see on your monitor. However, if you want to do a green screen effect, you need the fourth channel, which is the alpha channel. The alpha channel stands for transparency, and it's pretty much what I'm using right now to key myself out of the background, because these pixels have a transparency of one, the background has a transparency of zero, because I have a green screen behind me. And I'm using an effect in Premiere Pro to select all the green colors on the screen and just make them transparent, to simplify the whole thing. Although, my animator doesn't have a keying feature, so I can't actually actually use a green surface to use. I mean, I could do it. There's no tool in my animator that lets me just remove all the green unless I put it into Premiere. So what I'm going to do instead, make the ground invisible and I want to come into the project folder and I want to put the tempo to the same value as the frames per second. So if I'm going to export this animation at 30 frames per second, I want the tempo to also be 30. That allows me to essentially access every single frame because each tick is now one frame. See the frame by frame tutorial. So I want to go to frame number one, make a new folder on the desktop, call it frames. Now go to frame number one, export the current frame to an image file, remove the background and use like full HD or something. Save this, save it into the frames folder, call it one. Move forwards, add another one, same settings, call it two and repeat the process until you have them all. It's gonna be tedious, but hey, 
it's gonna work. Green screen. Once you have all of them, we can proceed to the next step. Make this invisible, make the main plane visible. I want you to add a surface. Green screen surface, whoa. Lock this onto your main camera. Put the custom rotation point to zero. Scale the X on 1.777. See the split screen tutorial, why I'm doing this. Now just move it out until it covers your frame. I'm going to use all those image textures and animate an image sequence here to make it look like the character is on the green screen. However, I need to import all of those textures in here first. So without any further ado, add a new texture. One, texture, okay. Add a new texture, two, texture, okay. Once again, you gotta do it frame by frame and I hate it, so Nimi, please fix it in the next update. It's a very useful thing, but it's tedious having to do it one by one. So let me just deal with all this, be right back. Whew. Finally, select the green screen surface on frame one, go to texture, browse for texture number one. One frame forward, go to texture number two, hold on, this is not turned correctly, Move, rotate this 180 degrees, and also put the brightness all the way up so it's not affected by any other scene lights. Three, texture three, four, texture four, and there we go. Finally, if I put this to HD render mode, this Steve is now on a green screen. It looks like it's actually here because the lighting actually matches the lighting we've set up before, but it's actually just a flat surface. Like the Steve is not really here. This is a green screen. You have a character on a green screen model. You've removed the background. Sadly, you had to do it frame by frame because, you know, my mirror doesn't have keying or it can't export transparent video files, sadly. But, you know, here we go. This is, this is your green screen. If we're being reasonable. I would not use Minimeter for green screen. If I actually needed a green screen in here, I would actually use After Effects and Premiere Pro because it's an easier workflow. So I don't recommend doing this if you have access to other tools. And if you really desperately need a green screen effect, I just show you, I showed you how it's done, but I'm not going to use this myself. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, once again, smash like drop bell drop like smash the bell yes that's that's what it's like anyways that's it for me i'll see you next time stay sharp